hey viewers welcome to my channel quick and effective ways today I'm going to show you how to cook chicken curry at home so let's get started take a pan and add a little oil to it here I'm using mustard oil you can use any oil of your choice I'll heat it for some time it's heating up now I'll add two bay leaves to it I'll also add four or five small cardamoms to it I do not want it to make more spicy that's why I'm not adding much spices to it but you can add as per your choice and taste now mix it well now I'll add some crushed black peppers and cloves to it I really like black peppers and cloves flavor mix it well and cook it for a few seconds so that the aroma get infused into the oil but remember do not overcook it now I'll add some chopped onions to it here I have taken three medium sized onions mix it well and cook it for some time till it changes its color to golden brown here I'll add a little salt to this as the salt will help the onions to uh, lose moisture fast so I'm adding the salt mix it well and cook till golden brown mix well cook it well now as you can see the onions have started changing their color to golden I'll cook it for some more time and then I'll add ginger garlic paste to it now I'm adding the ginger garlic paste I'll mix it well and then I'll cook it for a few seconds now the onions and the ginger garlic paste it's cooked well now I'll add some salt turmeric powder and a little red chili powder to it mix well mix well now add the marinated chicken to it I always use marinated chicken for my chicken recipes as it enhances its flavor and its taste so always marinate your chicken before making any chicken recipe here I'm adding the chicken now we will mix it well so that the chicken pieces get coated over by the masala mix it well mix it well mix it well now we will cook it for 15 minutes with the lid on after 15 minutes we will check if it's cooked or not so let's wait for 15 minutes now after 15 minutes as you can see the chicken is but it's not properly cooked as it is still watery so I'll cook it for another 10 minutes putting the lid on let's wait for another 10 minutes mm -hmm. 
After 10 minutes you can see that the chicken has changed its color and it's almost cooked. Now I'll add tomato puree to it. You can use the ready made tomato puree available in the market but here I have blended 3 tomatoes and I'll, ha and I'll have made their puree and I'm adding that to the chicken. Tomato puree will give thick consistency to the curry and it will also give a good color to our chicken. So mix it well and then we will cook it for another 3-4 minutes. Mix it well. Now it's almost cooked. Now I'll add some water to another vessel and I'll use this water for making gravy. Now our chicken is ready so I'll add hot water to it. Here I am taking two small cups of uh, boiled water, mix it well, then we will leave it for 15 minutes and our chicken curry is ready. Yeah, serve it with naan, chapati or rice. I hope you like the video. Thank you.